Let's look at how boundary scan is used in practice. Most boundary scan testers are, are PC-based test systems. Boundary scan software is used to generate the test pattern to apply the test vectors to the, non the unit under test and to analyze the response vectors from the UUT. Test vectors are delivered to the UUT with a boundary scan controller and some form of TAP interface. Boundary scan controllers are available for a wide variety of hardware platforms such as PCI, Pixie, Fixie, PCI Express, and Pixie Express, as well as for USB, LAN, LXI, and other bus interfaces. The TAP interface hardware is connected to the UT's test bus connectors, providing test access to the T-Clock, TMS, TDI, TDO, and T-Reset signals. TAP interface hardware may provide a number of TAPs for connection to multiple scan chains, as well as additional test resources, such as digital and analog I.O. As mentioned earlier, boundary scan testing requires the UUT to be powered up. So the tester setup also needs to include a power supply for the UUT. And finally, a test system may provide additional boundary scan I.O. channels and other digital and mixed signal I.O. for the verification of UUT interfaces in order to extend the test coverage achievable with boundary scan on a particular UUT. Such I.O. modules are available in a variety of form factors and feature sets. In addition to the test features implemented in compliant devices, the IEEE 1149.1 .1 standard also specifies a description language for those features. The so-called Boundary Scan Description Language, or BSDL, defines the port function and pinout of a device the avail availability of an ID register and its capture value, the length of the instruction register, its capture value, available instructions and their binary opcode, the types of boundary scan cells, their order in the boundary scan register, and the boundary scan self to pin mapping, the maximum T-clock frequency, and more. The BSDL file syntax is a subset of VHDL. Device vendors com com claiming IEEE 1149.1 compliance for their devices are required to provide BSD BSDL files for those devices. Gopal offers a free syntax and semantics verification tool for BSDL files, which can be made available to you upon request. The development of boundary scan tests is typically a very automated process. Most boundary, boundary scan test development software can import netlist information for the UUT, either a schematic file or, lay or layout data. Starting the boundary scan test development with the UUT schematic file has the benefit that the PCB layout still can be influenced. Test points can be included or excluded based on test coverage estimations for boundary scan tests. After the CAD data has been imported, component types are classified and device models are assigned. This provides the information the automated software tools need to analyze the UT structure for the boundary scan test generation and test coverage calculations. In some cases, the UT may be comprised of multiple modules. The net list for each module would be imported and the modules would then be merged together. When analyzing the UUT structure, one may identify certain parts of the UUT circuitry that would benefit from redesign in order to improve overall test coverage with boundary scan or other test methodologies. In case of a redesign, the new CAD data would be imported and analyzed. Once we are satis satisfied with the design for test, we create the boundary scan tests, verify them, and eventually deploy them for prototype verification or manufacturing test, for example. You'll recognize this slide from earlier in our discussion. <clears throat> As we have just discussed, 
Boundary scan testing can be done with a standalone test system. Alternatively, boundary scan test systems can be integrated with other automated test equipment, such as flying probe, MDA, ICT, or functional test. For example, a flying probe tester could provide additional test access for boundary scan by strategically placing the flying probes on circuit nodes that otherwise would not be completely testable with boundary scan alone, or an in-circuit or an in-circuit test bed of nails fixture could be much less complex and less expensive if nails don't need to be provided for circuit nodes that are tested with boundary scan. Functional tests can benefit from the simple pin level access provided by boundary scan, which could reduce test development time significantly. Boundary scan can even be integrated into automated optical inspection systems as long as the power can be provided to the UT. That way, boundary scan can provide the electrical tests that an AOI machine normally is lacking. In summary, a thorough test strategy usually employs a number of different test methods. Today, boundary scan often is an important part of the manufacturing test, either as a standalone tester setup or as a tool set in other integrated into other test equipment.